Hey guys, it's Dana, and today I'm going to show you how to make meatball soup. Super easy, very minimalistic ingredients, and big, big taste. Here we go. Take carrots out of your drawer. Let's dice these little suckers. Okay, I am literally putting a drop, just a drop, in here of olive oil. And then I'll add the rest with water and we're going to do what I call sweating the vegetables on saute in the Instant Pot. Safe to say that is two cups of ground carrots. Okay, I took an onion, one medium to larger onion, and I peeled it. Now we're going to chop it. You can see I deveined my celery. You can also find out why I do that inside of another video up here in my other TikToks. Okay, so in this pot we have one medium onion, two cups of carrots diced, and two cups of celery diced, which was basically about eight celery sticks all in all. Now I'm going to sweat these, which means a little bit of water at the bottom, that drop of olive oil, and let them saute till they get a little bit translucent. In addition, I will be adding in garlic. There you see my garlic, I slid it in half. That's two full cloves. Okay, here's how this is beginning to look. And this is great, it's how we want it to look. I'm going to continue letting it um, sweat down. I added two tablespoons more water right now. Right okay, I'm using Better Than Bouillon. You can use chicken or beef, whichever flavor you prefer. It really doesn't matter. And I am preparing that right now and I'm going to add that to tomato paste. Okay, here's my mixture in here. That was three tablespoons of the bouillon. And I did organic tomato paste. It doesn't matter what kind of tomato paste, six ounces. But I'm not done with the can. I'm going to add water to this and then mix it. But I'm also adding water to the can because I want to get all of that out of there without a lot of work and hot boiled water does that. So I'll move this around a little bit. It'll clean itself off, but I'm really interested in this over here. Tomato paste is nice and acidic and it's going to flavor up your um, wedding soup differently than probably what you've had before. It's how my grandmother always did it. That's how I make it. The flavor is outstanding. And the, the paste dissipates, it doesn't take over. Um, the, it, it really gives a nice flavor. You'll also wanna add a pinch of sugar to this. You can, or you don't have to, it cuts the bitter, as well as a little bit of salt if you don't use a Parmesan rind, which I'm going to use. Okay, yes, the can does get hot, so be warned. It really does clean it out really nice. So there it is in there. And we'll just mix this some more. So this was a couple tablespoons of water at a time. Don't add too much. We're not making sauce. We are just dissolving that paste down a bit. Okay, now we're going to take the tomato and the bouillon and add it in. And then I'm bringing over the meatballs. And I will scrape this out with a rubber scraper, scrape it down and get everything in. We will now be adding a half a cup of Parmesan, one egg, and one cup of breadcrumbs to the mixture. And then we will mash this by hand with clean bare hands. All right, each of these are about one teaspoon big, and you saw what I put in them already, and I'm just going to pour them into my Instant Pot. Okay, here's what this looks like right about now. And I will add just a bit more water and then the Parmesan rind. Here is my Parmesan rind. Probably about one by two. 
Okay, these are the orzo noodles. You could use pastina. I boiled them ahead and now we're going to fill this with the meatball soup. So take a look at just the meatballs and a little bit of broth. It looks so good. You see the steam? It's hot, hot, hot. You can make the meatballs ahead of preparing all the vegetables or while the vegetables are sweating. You have a lot of room for play in this recipe, so you can make the decision on when you prefer to make the meatballs. You can add more or less of any of the vegetables that I have shared with you today. If you want more tips about this recipe, head over to my website, danavento.com, or use the link in my bio to get there.